What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart. I'm back. Feels good, man. Feels good. First of all, I want to say thanks for liking, subscribing, still watching, watching right now. Thank you very much. Um, you know, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of good stuff. Thank you for, um, you know, posting, retweeting, tweeting, all that kind of stuff. Re I really appreciate it. You know, it just makes me, it, it makes me know that, you know, people are still watching. You know, you guys are still interested in the content that I'm putting out, which motivates me to do more stuff like this. So, first of all, of course, we're going to be reviewing Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. But, first thing is first, right? I didn't do an unbox of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite for one simple reason. I got the Deluxe Edition. Now, I did actually pre-order the Collector's Edition of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. But the reason that I didn't buy it, like I actually cancelled it the day before it came out. Because I saw an unboxing video for the Clips Edition of Marvel's Capcom Infinite and I didn't like it. It looked like shit. The crystal, they didn't even look like crystal, they looked like, like plastic caps inside a very, very cheap plastic box that lights up. No, I didn't want that. So I cancelled that pre-order on the 18th, yeah, the morning basically, um, before Marvel's Capcom Infant came out. And um, yeah, I got the Deluxe Edition because I didn't want those statues, the statues didn't look that great. Yeah, and it, it does hurt me, right, that I don't have a collector's edition of Marvel's Capcom Infinite. But, um, I ain't paying £200. Look, £200 is nothing to me, yeah. I've got plenty of money, but I'm not a monk, yeah. I want quality for money. The reason I'm buying those things is because I want them as, not only to support, but because I like the stuff. I mean, look, I've got the Marcus, I've got Marcus Holloway statue. I got the Tekken 7, Hayachi and Kazuya statue. I got the Noctis statue. You know, I got Dragon Balls in my front room. I like that kind of stuff. I'm going to be getting the Dragon Ball Z Fighters or Dragon Ball Fighter Z, however you say it. Yeah, I'm going to be getting the collect edition for that with the Goku um, stand. So, yeah, I'm onto it. But not if it's going to be absolute garbage. And that looks like absolute garbage to me. I'm going to be supporting Marvel's Capcom Infinite via, you know, whatever DLC they put out. They did put out, like, a video, because today is Tokyo Game Show. And they did put out some video for Monster Hunter. And she looks godlike, by the way. Yeah, very, very, very nice. Her normals look slow, but her special moves look hella good. So, yeah, let's get to review Marvel's Capcom Infinite. Sorry, going on quite a bit. A little bit of a rant. So, Marvel's Capcom Infinite. We're going to talk about the pros and the cons of Marvel's Capcom Infinite. One of the cons cast very very weak the ui terribly weak right um not enough colors for the characters every character's got four colors and there's no alternates there's no alternate costumes and um the only way you can get alternates if not paying for them is if you get the collect edition right or the deluxe edition which will have the season pass in it which gives you access to um captain marvel's carol danvers um, outfit, the um, Planet Hulk outfit, Warrior 4 outfit, um, Mega Man Command X outfit, and did I say Evil Ryu? I think I said Evil Ryu, but if I did, Evil Ryu outfit, yeah? And those are supposed to be in the game anyway. But then what about the other cast? What about Chun Li? We damn sure know she's got an alternate costume. If you're looking on um, Instagram and Twitter, we know she's got an alternate um, costume. It's from one of her endings in um, one of the um, one of her games. I can't remember what it was. Um, Gamora, she's got an alternate outfit. Very very cool looking alternate outfit. Seen that on Instagram, right? And um, the toys basically, you know. So Marvel doing like a little partnership with some um, company that makes like toys and stuff, and they have got promotional. Um, statues and toys that you can buy with the alternate costumes of the characters so we damn know that they're in there what about those they should be in the game by default we should not have to pay for them at all right so that's a little bit annoying um, other than that that is it that's the only flaws of the game let's talk about the pros the pros of the game the game itself is absolutely godlike it is like it's by the best Marvel's Capcom game ever Best Marvel game free. It's not even 
a debate. Yeah, it's the best Marvel game ever. It is insane. If it had a bigger cast, the game would be too much. It'd be way too much, right? So the cast is lacking. Yeah, but the game itself, as in its gameplay, is astounding. It's unbelievable. When I'm playing the game, I feel like even when I find something really good and better, I feel that I could do more and find even better. And I do. And when I do find something better, I feel like there is even something more that I can do. So the game, I get it. Marvel's Capcom Infinite. I get it. You know, there's so much stuff to learn in the game it's difficult it's difficult it's gonna get an easy game to start playing but an extraordinarily hard game to master you can clearly see it although you have some characters that have um a uh, hella advantage you know like um i'll say a team like ghost rider nova too good dumamu ultron too good um you know um captain marvel and Captain Marvel and Ghost Rider, too good. Chun-Li, Chun-Li and Nova, very, very good. You know, Dante and Ultron, very good. Those are characters that I think is gonna like rise to the top. You know, Hulk might be in there as well, as long as he gets like, you know, I don't know, Hulk and Hawkeye or Hulk and Monster Hunter or something like that, you know. So we'll see. Right, but yeah, the gameplay is amazing. Gameplay is amazing. The graphics look beautiful. There's nothing wrong with the graphics whatsoever. You know, if people are saying that the actual outfits are, oh, I didn't see the door open. Yeah, so if they, people are saying that the outfits, or no, sorry, the um, actual alternates, what am I talking about? The graphics, the I just confused me that um, I've been thrown off that the door was open. Yeah, if they tell me that the actual graphics look bad. They're talking absolute shit and they're nitpicking. They are nitpicking. Because look at Tekken. Okay, so if, I, if we do a, a graphical comparison between Tekken and Marvel, yeah, they're pretty much on the same level. The only thing that I'll say Tekken 7 has got over Marvel is the vibrancy of colours in Tekken is extraordinary, right? But Marvel's Capcom, graphics are fine. You know, look. You're not going to have characters, if you're looking for ultra realistic, you're never going to get that. You're never going to get that in a game that is based off comic book characters and superheroes and, and superhuman um, characters. You're not going to get that. You're going to see characters wearing bright blues and yellows and reds and purples, you know, and orange and white. You're going to see characters wearing that or if they wear black, like real dark black. You're gonna fucking see that type of shit because it's a game based on superheroes, comic book characters, and video game characters, and cartoon characters. You know, that is what you are going to see. And um, another thing I'll say is the story mode. The story mode is exceptional. The story mode is hella fun. Yeah, there are like some crazy things that go on in the story mode that you're like, what? Right? But what is so good about the story mode is the fact that all the characters are themselves. The characterization of every single character is spot on. Spencer is proper Spencer. He doesn't deviate from his character. There is no character assassination in the entire game just to make the story mode a little bit more compelling. And the story mode is actually good. The story is actually good. It's better than the story mode in Injustice. Hella better than the story mode in Injustice too, Right? And the Injustice story mode is the... the the premise, the promise, the pacing of Injustice 2 is very, very good. Marvel's Capcom Infinite, the pacing is maybe not so great, but the story itself and the cutscenes are very good. They're accept they're real good. And all the Dante is Dante. When you see Dante interacting with Iron Man, I believe it. That is Dante. That is how Dante is. He's not. There's no character assassination on terms of to Dante, Iron Man, Nova, Richard Ryder, Carol Danvers, Hulk, Chun Li, Jeddah, Morrigan, Ghost Rider. There is zero character assassination, and I love that. And some of that is me watching comic, reading comics, and watching animations, animations, as in cartoons, not anime. 
yeah, cartoons from back in the day, from the X-Men and the 90s X-Men to the, um, the late 90s, early 1000s Spider-Man and all that kind of good stuff, yeah, X-Men Evolution and everything like that. That is, I expect it. I don't feel like they've betrayed my vision of any of the characters in any manner, shape or form. I loved it. I love the story mode. It's cool to me because it's set up as a comic. I read comics. I love comics. So of course I'm going to like it. If you're expecting um, it to be like a Marvel Cinematic movie like Winter Soldier, yeah, or Civil War, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Because look at the characters that are in there. It's not gonna happen, man. You know what I mean? They faced it as a comic book story. With Street Fighter, well not Street Fighter, Capcom characters and Marvel characters. You know? Uh, so yeah, I liked it. The The graphics are perfectly fine. I mean, what I find strange, I don't understand why people are like so upset about the graphics. Because when Guilty Gear uh, Exerd came out, yeah? Everybody was like, the graphics are absolutely amazing. Tekken 7, everyone's like, the graphics are absolutely amazing. And then Marvel comes out, and then everybody's like, the graphics are trash. What? I don't understand it. But Capcom, Marvel's Capcom Infinite, the graphics are either equal to or greater than Guilty Gear Exerd, Tekken 7, and Injustice. Definitely better than Injustice graphics, right? So I don't understand what the gripe is. I literally do not get it. I've got the game. I see nothing wrong with it. I mean, there is, oh yeah, sorry, there is another con that I would say about the game, right? Is the. My other gripe about the game is the. Uh, not the roster. We've already talked about the roster. Uh, damn it, I forgot. It'll come back to me, right? Um, but they, they have done like a lot of little nuances in the game. Like there's an art gallery where you can look at really cool art, right? You can watch all the cutscenes. You can listen to every single music in the game. You can listen to all the voice actors, all the um, characters and um, speeches that they say in the game and their special intro poses with different characters. You can look at all of them. Um, you can customise your fight card, right? Um, that is like you know your wins, your losses, the character you use, the amount of time stones you use, um, all that kind of stuff, and pick your team at what stage you like to be in. And also the character select screen, you know, character select screen, yeah, does look basic of the basic, right? Um, the UI, not the best. That was it. That was my little gripe. The UI is bad. But the one thing I would say about that is when you're playing the game, you don't actually notice the UI. Because the game, there's so much happening within the game, you don't notice it. The backgrounds in the game are amazing. You don't notice it. You literally do not notice it because you're so focused on the gameplay. Because that game, let me tell you something, okay? Marvel's Cup Infinite is fast. That is the fastest Marvel game I've ever played. Simple, free. I played Marvel Super Heroes, I played Truth of the e Atom. I played X-Men and um, Marvel vs. Capcom 1, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I played um, Street Fighter vs. Marvel Super Heroes, um, Marvel vs. X-Men, I've played every single one of them. Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I believe is the fastest, me personally, is the fastest Marvel, not anymore. This game is fast, this game is ridiculously, insanely fast, right? <clears throat> so, um, yeah, all that thing with the UI, with that, there's no real amazing font or whatever, you know what I mean? Or the character bars, life bars don't look fancy and all that kind of stuff. You don't notice it. You don't notice it because you're too focused on the absolute... The, the gameplay, I give the gameplay 10 out of 10. I give the gameplay itself 10 out of 10. I would give the story mode a 9 out of 10. Because of the characterizations of the characters, nobody betrays themselves, there's zero character assassination and they're all faithful to who and what they are, they don't deviate from their personas and I love that and the story is good, it is not a simple story, it is a story that has got plot twists and, and, and things that you don't expect, you know, like Dante, one thing that I've was, I loved in that game was um, Dante's bit where Dante had to go to a dark realm on his own to fight Jeddah that had the soul gem. 
that fight was sick. There was like a cutscene where Dante goes to um, Jeddah, and then Jeddah and um, basically beats Dante like pretty easy, and then Dante resurrects in his devil form, and then it goes into a fight, and Dante's got infinite devil bar. And Jeddah's actually pretty tough, like very, very tough, right? And I was fighting Jeddah for like 11 minutes. I was fighting him for a good, ele- oh, no, 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 I think it was about 16 minutes, about 16, 17 minutes. Yeah, I was fighting him for long. And it was it was frustrating as well, but I still managed to win because like Dante had like life regeneration. And as I was playing, I was getting better as I was playing. From that fight, I actually learned how to play Dante. Because I didn't do any practice mode, I'd never touched my best Capcom Infinite until I got the game. I'd never touched it, all I did was seen it. And then from the second I got it, um, downloaded like a 10 gig day one patch, which took about 11 minutes. And then it installed into my um, hard drive, the PlayStation 4, in about, about 19, 20 minutes, something like that. Right, no, I think it was a little bit sooner than that, but let's just say 20 minutes. Yeah, and then I went straight to story mode, straight. And that Dante fight with Jeddah was godlike. And then the plot twist that happened once Dante got the soul gem, you thought Dante turned evil, you know, because he went to Ultron and he sided with Ultron, you know. So it was, it's so cool, man. It's so cool. I love the story mode. You know, every single character got their little time to shine. You know, Mega Man with Zero, um, um, Strider. Um, got his time to shine with his own story, with his own story. Um, Ryu and Hulk got to team up and they had their own little story. Dante got to team up and had his own little story. Iron Man and Spencer got to team up together and had their own little unique story. Every single character got their time to shine and I loved that. I thought the story mode was really good. The game itself is amazing. The, um, the graphics are spot on. The um, character, the world, sorry. Not the world. The actual graphics, good. You know, very, very good. So, you know, personally for me, personally, I will give Marvel's Capcom an easy 9 out of 10. Marvel's Capcom Infinite, 9 out of 10. Game is sweet. I cannot believe how good the game is. You know, and even then, like as I said before, the actual main menu, I think the main menu is cool. Main menu is basically you pick whatever your two characters are, you go into your fight card. And then you choose your two characters. Mine is Gamora and Dante. You pick them. They have their own picture. And then you can pick the stage, which will be a background. So basically, within the game, the stage that you like, your favourite stage, becomes the background for the main menu. And then the two characters that are displayed on the main menu, where it says battle mode, story, online, training, missions, um store and whichever will basically be your characters so mine has got Dante and Gamora and the background of Wakanda you know so that is look, look game is good the game is good so it's smart the way they've done things so there are some things that you say to yourself hmm I don't know if I like that but look game is real good it's real real fun and um, I would definitely recommend that you get the game um, and yeah a lot's going to be happening, you know, they're going to be bringing out like a lot of different costumes, there's DLC, they just showed like a reveal trailer for um, Monster Hunter, and she looks wicked, she looks, one thing I didn't know is just her outfit looks good, and she actually does look beautiful, right, so it's just a bit strange to me how they got Chun-Li wrong as a female character, but they got Carol Danvers, beautiful, Gamora, easily the most beautifulest character, female character in the game, and then Monster Hunter, got her face bang spot on but in Chun Li they had to keep changing her face strange but whatever so all this good with the world Marvelous Capcom Infinite is an incredible beautiful marvelous game yeah I give it a 9 out of 10 and yeah Warriors I want to hear what you guys got to say so yeah I'm going to be playing the game you know I tried out mission mode the mission mode is hella fun arcade mode is actually good and um, story mode love it and yeah played a little bit of online, although I'm not properly ready for online, I just wanted to test the netcode, to be honest with you. Yeah, so yeah, everything looks fine to me. The versus mode, the versus mode, where you can play against a CPU, is actually fun. It's actually fun. Right, so yeah, the game's got a lot of plus points for me. Um, I'm happy with it. I wish there was more characters, but I'm still excited because, you know, we're going to this year, um, not this year, but within a year of the game's release, which was the 19th, 
we're going to see Black Panther, we're going to see Sigma, we're going to see Black Widow, we're going to see Winter Soldier, Venom, and of course, Monster Hunter Lady. Right, so those are like the two characters, them characters that are very, very exciting that we're going to be getting. And yeah, Warriors, I want to turn it over to you. I want to hear what you guys got to say, how you're feeling about Marvel's Capcom Infinite. Um, yeah, have you got it or not? Did you get the collector edition? Did you get the standard or the deluxe edition? As I said, I explained why I got the deluxe edition. You know, it's for the simple case that I thought the collector edition looked, it looked cheap looked really really bad didn't want it right when you first pre-ordered it i pre-ordered it, i think it was in maybe may something like that the picture showed the crystals looking like proper crystals yeah like zirconia or crystals whatever colored crystals or whichever and the statues looked like they had higher detail but then when i watched the unboxing on i think it was i literally think it was the 18th of this month yeah 18th of september i looked at it and i was like the statues look is very very light and plasticky what and the actual crisp of the infinity stones it, it looked like a very light thin cheaply made plastic box i was like nah nah straight away after i watched that unboxing i cancelled the pre-order like literally three or four minutes after watching it i cancelled it and changed it to the deluxe edition so yeah that was what i've got to say that's my story about marvelous Capcom infinite i'm excited i'm hyped I'm learning my Gamora and Dante. Dante is my reason for getting the game. He is my reason because without Dante, it'd be, it'd be, it wouldn't be impossible to play the game, but it'd be very difficult to play the game because I am excited, you know, to play Iron Man versus Dante, to play Jeddah versus Dumamu, um, Mega Man X versus Spider Man. I love those kind of character interactions. Gamora versus Thanos. It's hell of exciting, and it's very, very hyped to see. And that game is—it's a massive game. Yeah, let's not let's not beat about the bush. Marvel's Capcom Infinite is a massive, massive game. Um, it's going to be—it's easily the and going to be for a long time the biggest fighting game there is. So yeah, I'd recommend you definitely jump on board. And yeah, Warriors, over to you. I'm going to be reading your comments in the comment section, and yeah, reply to everybody as I always do. So once again, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and yeah, until my next video, Warriors, stay blessed, take care, and live fabulously. Later.